And you know, with this discussion, it brings up a, the next topic here on uh, 21052C islands and uh, peninsular countertops. And I know, Mike, you and I have had some previous discussion on this. Can you talk a little bit further on that? Sure, Phil. Uh, this has always been a challenge in the field for, uh, for dealing with uh, dwelling unit peninsula and island applications. And I think Code Panel 2 uh, took a major step this cycle. The, um, the quantity of receptacle and location of the receptacles have been changed from a uh, horizontal wall uh, distance uh, method of determining quantity and placement to a square footage uh, based on the top surface of the peninsula countertop or the island countertop. So we're dealing with the amount of square footage on that uh, countertop or work surface area as the driver for quantity of receptacles. And in this section, it allows some latitude on the placement with the exception of uh, requiring at least one within two feet of the end of the peninsula or, uh, or island. But basically, it starts at nine square feet. You need at least one. And then for every additional 18 square feet after that, or fraction thereof, you're going to be adding receptacles in increments. This was uh, largely driven by uh, modern types of construction where you may not even have any walls within the kitchen area, but you might have three large islands. And the way the code was previously structured, you could have been severely lacking in the amount of receptacle outlets that you would need to provide adequate service for the kitchen. Yeah, Mike, that, it forces people into use of extension cords and portable power taps. And, and that, you know, from an island standpoint, causes tripping hazard and the ability to pull you know, appliances over on kids. And there are a lot of safety issues. And I think the panel is strongly looking to make sure enough receptacles or outlets are provided. For the installer, that means you've got a, you know, an island that's 10 foot long. You're going to have to take a look at that in the rough end stage and figure out how you're going to achieve. It, it's always going to be more than one, typically, because you're going to be over nine square feet. You're going to need two or three receptacle outlets. You're going to have to figure out in the rough end stage how you're going to get that done. So it will likely drive some new product options because in the text, uh, that is revised, uh, we're gonna tell you that if you've got a multi-outlet strip with three contact devices on it, we're going to consider that as one receptacle outlet. So how you're gonna wire them and where you're gonna place them is something you're gonna have to do, you know, at least figure out in the rough end stage. I think Jim makes a great point on uh, the opportunity for manufacturers to come up with uh, innovative products like inserts, uh, pop-ups, uh, uh, specialized cabinetry uh, that's configured to accommodate this requirement in the electrical code, but it's a good start in the right direction. Absolutely. So Jim, just to wrap this up, if we've got one that comes out, a countertop of island, it comes out at 10 square feet. So that's just over nine square feet, so two are required, and a duplex, duplex receptacle on the end no longer cuts it. That, that's correct, so nine square feet we need one and then any fraction of 18 square feet. So if you go to 10, you need two. And keep in mind, if we've got a single gang box and I put a duplex receptacle in it, that's one receptacle outlet. If I've got a two gang box and I put two receptacle, uh, I, I have two duplex receptacles, but one receptacle outlet. So this, that's where this is gonna require that during that rough end stage, we know how we're going to achieve the number of receptacle outlets that are needed. If not, you know, when you get to that finished stage, it's going to be difficult to get it done. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is a great area where Article 100 helps uh, the code user by having the definition of both the term outlet and receptacle. It helps provide a needed clarity there.